Bye, Kevin. You're not going to believe what's happened. You were right. All this time, you were right. The treasure is here in Porto, and I'm supposed to find it. Earlier on today, I met Miguel. Miguel's this old guy. I was sat at this restaurant, and, and he came up to me and asked me where I got the necklace from. I explained how it had been in our family for, well, forever. Miguel started telling me this information I took some notes. He said that the god Bacchus had wandered through various parts of the earth and taught mankind the cultivation of the vine. During his time on earth, he had a son with a mortal, to whom he gave his cup made from the best grapevine along with the responsibility to protect the cup. This cup was Bacchus's most precious possession because it held the magic of the wine. If the cup fell into the wrong hands, all of the earth's wine would be destroyed. Doesn't this sound familiar? Isn't this exactly the same story that our granddad used to tell us? So, the cup stayed protected for hundreds of years at Bax's temple. The eldest of the children was the cup's guardian and, and wore this necklace. I've had it all of my life. I still can't get my head around it. It turns out that we are the descendants of Anna Silver, the little girl who was rescued by the English at the Ponte this Barcus disaster. That's why we ended up in the UK. My girl gave me this, this box full of drawings and notes and maps and then he got up and he ran away. He was being chased by this guy called, called Felipe. Yeah, all right, I must admit, I got scared myself and I did run away. I came back. Miguel didn't know. Just sort of disappeared. I'm going to try and find it. It is unbelievable. All your life you've been researching into this treasure. It, it was your mission in life to find it. I never thought it would become mine too. All these these drawings and notes, they represent the possible locations of the treasure. So I think I'll have to go to them all and try and find it. There's, there's something in here about the frequency that the treasure emits. Not knowing the actual location of the treasure, this is the only way I can find it. So I'm, I'm gonna build an app and hopefully that'll help me find the treasure. Look, I know what you're thinking you can help. Of course you can, but you can't come out here. Not now, it is way too dangerous. I'm so glad you're still over there in summer school. But I'll, I'll be able to keep you updated on, on Twitter and, and Pinterest. Because I'll need you and others to help me out, give me some clues. I call it Peter in Porto. <laughs> I will also update a weekly video blog onto the YouTube channel. I'm gonna go now. Uh, gotta try and figure all this out, try and sort my head out. I'll speak to you soon brother. I miss you.